And what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It is your boy, Cheap Ludes, and I'm here suffering from an advanced stage of pack fatigue. These are like the fifth packs I'm opening in five days, which is wow. Um, out of position three packs dropped today. I could not be more disappointed. I thought we were getting something different, like fan favorites or retro. By the way, we haven't got retro in like three seasons 2k I don't, this was your opportunity to do a retro set because they had a danny granger they had an anthony or anthony davis andre karolinko like and a michael jordan these were all in one single set from 2k19 the fan favorite set so i don't really know what this is all about but we got a power forward center danny granger which um hurts my heart immensely uh the fact that my man couldn't even play small forward that's just disappointing i'm so mad about that a point guard center invincible magic which i'm shocked they gave us another magic the enshrined one is basically an invincible magic so just go by that one andre karolinko who plays shooting guard point guard he'll be the most expensive card non-invincible in the set lamar odom coming in at number two point guard small forward he'll be relatively expensive as well as a big body point guard one of the more affordable ones i'm guessing uh point guard shooting guard michael jordan who'll be astronomically expensive just because he's michael jordan west unseld that plays point guard excellent he's gonna be a great card um shooting guard center cliff robinson and chandler parsons both of which will be relatively good i think shooting guard small forward ye he's seven feet tall and plays the shooting guard he'll be good i probably will use him honestly denny avigia and obi toppin man minute bull shooting guard all right i need minute bull shooting guard he is going to look so gangly and unsightly at the shooting guard position it's not going to look right and i need him can he curry slide? If he can curry slide, oh, it's it's so ridiculous. <laughs> it's going to be the most annoying TTO card. All right, we'll start with the 10 box. So far, nothing. I don't have a whole... All right, we got a pink diamond. I just have the sneaking suspicion that Minute Bull is going to be super rare, right? Like, I just feel like he has to. Kind of like how Bull Bull was really difficult to pull out of the Warped Reality packs. He was harder to pull than the Opals. Uh, we got, yeah, Obi Toppin. 2K, I know these are out of position packs, so they're like fantasy based, but like I don't think Obi, Obi Toppin was ever in a position of immense ball control for the Knicks this year, so I don't really know why he plays shooting guard, point guard, but it is what it is, I guess. He'll be a good budget option. All right, so we got Denny and uh, Obi Toppin off the rip. Fantastic. Okay. I don't know. Uh, they should let my man Patrick Williams have a card. How dare you? We've already gotten, like, a bunch of Obi Toppin cards. Let me get Patrick Williams instead, dude. You could have just had the same card. Just make it Patrick Williams. Uh, not Manute Bull again. Manute Bull is not that light. <laughs> uh, I don't want any more Denny's. I promise I don't. I've already almost pulled two of them, or pulled two of them and I don't want any more. The pink diamonds are dropping heavily, let me just say. Uh... Yeah, I mean, there's no way to tell. I think this is Obi Toppin again. Yeah. Number one, Obi Toppin. Fantastic. I mean, like I said, Obi Toppin should be a relatively good card. I'm not even going to front like that. Um, but really, like, do I want this many Obi Toppins? No, I do not. I absolutely do not want this many. I just have a feeling that I'm going to be pulling Obi Toppin a lot. Now, is he good? Yeah, especially for like a budget point guard that can really hold it down against bigger point guards absolutely he'll be fine there we go we got an opal he's got the same jump shot base as brandon ingram and pascal siakam so great base what do we got give me something good i think this is ye yeah there we go all right i may have not gotten the new bull but that's fine because i got the other giant in this set and that's ye at the shooting guard i'm about to run the most toxic tall man lineup if i get Manute bull I'm 100% running Manute and Yi next to each other, which is going to be stupid. I'm so excited about it, if it happens. But like I said, it's probably going to be like a bull bull situation where like Manute bull is actually harder to pull than some of the higher tiered cards. That's my guess. What's his jump shot? Set shot 19. Uh, Ew. <laughs> his jump shot's not good for, for certain. He's got the Minute Bull upper too, which is awful. The only other person who has Minute Bull's jump shot is Kelly Olnick and then season one, Luis Scola. Gross. Okay. There we go. Give me some good. That's what I'm talking about. All right. Please be an invincible card. 
Honestly, I'm cool with any of the cards from the set. Yeah, except Danny Granger. I really don't want him. That's just disappointing. Eastern Conference. Uh, oh, no. Come on. Oh, I don't know why you do that to me. I knew it wasn't going to be Michael Jordan for sure, especially when I saw that 33. I mean, Danny Granger is big enough to play the power forward. I will say that. He is. He can play the power forward just fine. Um, I'm just upset because I would have rather him played small forward. And he also, like, his release isn't bad. Like, I like Tony Parker base. James Worthy has that as well. And it's pretty good. But why not give him Exum base? Like, or Paul George base, for that matter. I mean, I don't really want that. But they should have just gave him base 29. You're about to piss people off with this card anyway because he only plays power forward. Just give the, like, five people out there that like base 29 love. I feel like that pack glitched a lot to get TJ Warren and Malcolm Brogdon. Also, 2K, did you have to give me the teammates? You had to do that. All right. Fair enough. I'm, like, so hurt by this Danny Granger card. By the way, he is basically an invincible card. If you're looking at his stats, it's above 90 in everything except passing vision and intangibles. But, like, or in shot IQ. But still, it hurts. 27% are the odds. Okay. I knew I had to uh, go check those out. So, I don't know, man. Uh, these packs are hurting. If I can just pull Minute Bull, like, I'll be all right. I got a Dark Matter. I'm fine. I just really want Minute Bull, and I know he's about to be super expensive. If I don't pull him, I'm going to go buy him. Kyle Lowry. I love that photo of him. Like, literally. It, looked like, it looks like he sharded. Straight up. I know Minute Bull is going to be, like, 50K. I just don't want to spend that. I also want... Wes Unseld, like, relatively bad. I feel like that pack glitch too, 2K. I feel like you're nerfing me right now. But I, I don't know, maybe. Maybe my Xbox is just tweaking. It's probably just tweaking. It's like, please stop opening packs. Please. <laughs> I do it for the people. <sighs> All right, I just need something good out here. I mean, I got Danny Granger. All things considered, it could be a lot worse. But another pink diamond. All right. Be Minute Bull, please. This just be Manute Bull. Um, oh, I don't know who this is. It's literally current Kevin Durant. Oh, oh come on, man. I hate the current card so much. All right, dude, like, I hate the current series cards. It's like, I hate guaranteed packs. Guaranteed packs are terrible because the odds literally are the worst, but... At least I know that if I see a pink diamond, it is or like some sort of tier, I know it's not a current card. That's the only positive about guaranteed packs. And for whatever reason, there are only 2,000 MT more than these. I don't really know what that's all about. 2K makes the out-of-position packs so expensive for like no reason whatsoever. I mean, I'm sure there's a monetary reason for it. But the fact that at this stage in the game, you can't even buy a 20 box for $50 is absurd. And it speaks like volumes to 2k's management team like the fact that they haven't realized that they'll make more money if they just lower the vc by a little bit like because they will like i mean i get it you make it expensive and you expect people to just buy a couple of them and that's like 100 bucks or whatever but if you like took i don't know even like 20 to 30 percent off that might encourage someone to buy an additional box that they normally wouldn't have and spend a couple more dollars it's not in rocket science 2k like it's really not i mean i'm glad you're not smart enough to do that because it's arguably more scummy and can hurt more people but at the same time i'm actually shocked that you don't do that because it's just smart business practice but i suppose when has that ever been the case for you <sighs> all right rant over anyways back to the packs this is what happens when you don't give me minute bull 2k like i get upset like just give me a minute bull that's that's all i ask for I'm not even sitting here tweaking over Dark Matters right now. I know I'm not pulling MJ. Like, that is a thing I know. I know I'm not pulling Magic Johnson. There's a low possibility I even get Karolinko at this point. So, just let me get the card I want. Speaking of which, I think Karolinko was in la the last out-of-position packs we got last year. Yeah, he was. He was. He played power forward center. That card was a monster, though. Like, that card was so good. And then I think, no, Lamar Odom was in Flash. Speaking of which, this is probably the last out-of-position packs we're getting, but I guarantee we get another Flash set with, like, you know, out-of-position cards in it as the glitches. Because I don't think they're going to... They're not going to stop giving us stupid, 
like out of position cards. They're just not going to drop another out of position set. I hope anyway. If they do, they truly ran out of ideas. I I don't know. There we go. We got something, and it's another pink diamond. Probably not Manu Bull, but I mean, I can dream, right? Let me get Manu Bull. Come on. It's Hobie Tobin again. <laughs> Fantastic. Bro, just let me have it. Let me have Manu Bull. Now it's just a, like, it's just a matter of pride at this point. Like, I'm just mad at, the, at this stage. Like, ugh, why are you doing this to me, man? Ugh. All right, I'm going to open a few more packs. I mean, I'm going to open like a decent amount more, I, I generally feel, right? Yeah, I can open. I'm not even going to try to do the math, but I'll, I'll go down to 1 million. So I'll open like 200K worth of packs. Oh, good. A current diamond. Fantastic. You can tell the pack fatigue is like really setting in because I'm just not as cheery as normal. This is Luca. I think it is. Whatever. I don't think he doesn't sell for anything, but you know, it is what it is. Look at Luca. Ah. Shout out to Luca Doncic. I really did not think he was going to be this tight. I'm not even going to sit here and jump on the Luca bandwagon. When everyone was hyping him before he came in the draft, I was like, hmm, nose up in the air. Like, I don't know if he's going to be that good. I was wrong. I was quite wrong. I, I will admit. He gave me real Andres Nocioni vibes. <laughs> but he also was literally a teenager. So I guess I was just hating. It is what it is. Um, yeah, obviously Luka Doncic is like the face of the, the future face of the league, but, uh, I just didn't see it at the time and I feel dumb. Um, okay. So we're on a real dry spell now for packs. I mean, it gets like, I'm glad they're not on like guaranteed packs, but honestly it's 2000 more MT. I'd honestly prefer it at this point for how many current cards I've drawn. Yeah. I probably wouldn't have gotten that one dark matter though. Like, all things considered, like, I, I probably would not have. I don't know, though. If Draymond Green, I guess I don't, I don't know. If Draymond Green's still available for under 100K, I might go pick him up. I think Granger will be a buyout, by the way. Like, Granger will probably be a buyout. And I think in regards to buyout power forwards, he's a really solid option. Like, if he's under 100K... It depends on if Siakam is under 100K as well, because Siakam is really, really good. So, I mean, if those two are under 100K, I am going to have to go play around with Granger a little bit. But just looking at uh, stats and badges and stuff, I would say Siakam's probably slightly better. But once I go play with uh, Granger for a bit, then I can really like tell you guys. Yeah, these current cards are killing me, man. Got Jonas Valshunas. By the way, shout out to him. He played like such a beast in this postseason. I was shocked, man. It's not like I'm a Jonas Valshunas hater. I just don't think he's that great. But, my man proved me wrong. He's playing great. It is what it is. Surprised to be surprised. Give me something good. Can I have something from the set? That's a pink diamond. Great. Okay. Be Manu Bull. Please, just be Manu Bull. I just want to make the Giants squad. Ah, I sold Porzingis. What a... Obi Toppin again. Uh... <laughs> oh man okay i love the knicks rationale for drafting obi top and they're like he's the most nba ready prospect in the draft like we're gonna draft him and then just don't play him <laughs> like what? all right dude i mean i get i guess they weren't in their defense like realistically who thought julius randall was gonna be this good not even julius randall i don't think but it's like you draft the most NBA-ready prospect, and then you just don't give him minutes. Such a Knicks move. That's also a very Bulls move, too. We would do something like that. Thibodeau. Actually, you know what? This makes sense. Thibodeau does do this. Even though he's an NBA-ready 23-year-old rookie, Thibodeau still thinks he's like a 15-year-old kid on like a JV basketball team. He's like, yeah, no, you got to earn your place here. Tibbs is so funny, dude. Oh, uh, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Please do not be another Danny Granger. <laughs> hey, I'm having good luck today, I guess. Come on. All right, it's not Danny Granger. It's not. Ah, it's Lamar Odom. <laughs> yes. I'm definitely running my man Lamar Odom. Oh, this is Clippers Lamar Odom? Ooh, this is pre the addiction to Herbal Viagra. That's what I'm talking about. This is when he was in his prime. Or he was entering his prime. 
Yeah, entering his prime. Before he got shipped off to Miami, which no one remembers. Okay, Lamar Odom should be a beast, dude. I'm ex- I'm actually excited about that card. This is going to be fun. I-, I-, I like Lamar Odom. In-game. I wish he had that base 11, but they don't even have that in-game this year, so I guess it doesn't really matter. Paul George with Marcus Old upper on very quick. Pretty solid overall. Oh, there we go. Can you just be Minute Bull so I can end this? So I can end this pain? Please? It is not Minute Bull again. It is Denny of VG again. Ah, why? Why must you do this? Why must you forsake me, 2K? Why? Why would you do this to me? Why does he look like McLovin? He looks like Christopher Mintz Plass in that photo. But like a way more jacked version, obviously. Yeah, yeah. I can see it. I see it. Uh, man, can I just have Manu Bull, please? I'm going to have to go check his price after this because like, I definitely want him. Lamar Odom should be good, though. 6'10 with a 6'11 wingspan at the point guard position. He can easily play the small forward, too, though. I don't... He's not really one of the top small forwards, in my opinion, I don't think. But point guards, he'll be up there for sure. Ben Simmons, who? No, nah, I talk about Lamar Odom out here. Uh, good thing I didn't buy Draymond, because I'm definitely going to use Lamar Odom. Smart move on my part. Honestly, I might not even use... I might sell Lamar Odom and just run Wes Unseld. Like, I'm not going to pull him, because apparently he's just as rare. I've only pulled one Opal, though. The Opals are harder to pull than Dark Matters right now. Another Pink Diamond. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. I can't believe I pulled two Dark Matters and only one Opal. That's wild. Like that That is nuts. This is just regular, regular Giannis. <sighs> that's, that's unfortunate. Yeah, look at him. <sighs> he does look mean in this picture. Uh, they still... It's like they still found a way to give him a bad photo when there's literally a kajillion... Giannis Antetokounmpo photos out there and that's the one they chose I'm glad they like grabbed a bunch of uh small time like uh graphic design card makers off the internet and started employing them at 2k because like that card art's atrocious whoever did that I don't even know what to tell you all right I don't think I'm gonna open too many more of these because like realistically I'm not gonna pull an invincible card regardless how hard I try it's not going to happen, and even if I did, I'd probably sell them. Like, I probably would sell Magic and just pick up pick up Enshrined Magic if I really wanted Magic at that point. They're really not that different. It's not that they changed his jump shot or anything, I don't think, anyway. I'm guessing it's just Magic Johnson release. All right, nothing again. Uh, can't believe we got another Magic. Yeah, it's just Magic Johnson release. I mean, he literally looks the same as the enshrined Magic Johnson, just obviously better in most stats, um, but not by a substantial margin. Michael Jordan's obviously better too, but that price tag is about to be hefty, and you know it. Also, did 2K just literally reuse the same photo as the Amethyst from the beginning of the year in the clutch set? Like, Because it kind of looks like that. Yeah, no, it's it's identical. It's literally the same photo in the Invincible card as the Amethyst from the clutch set we got in week two of the game's release. Come on, 2K. Once again, it's just like one of those things where it's like, I know you're just lazy, right? I know you're just lazy at this point because legitimately, there is no shortage of Michael Jordan photos of which you could use. I promise there are not. There's so many Michael Jordan photos. Like, just open a Sports Illustrated Kids from 1996. I guarantee you five like or find, like, five better photos of Michael Jordan. Throw one up there with a milk mustache. Who cares? It doesn't matter. Just don't reuse the same photos of a player who definitely has millions of photos on the internet. Like, I wish they would use, like, old man Jordan in bootcut jeans. That'd be sick. All right, let's go straight over to a man Manupal who, yep, looking like he's going to be ridiculously expensive. I mean, he's probably not very good. Like, but he is obviously uh, massive and plays the two guard, which is going to be fun. Uh, he has a really ugly jump shot. He's seven foot seven at the two guard with an eight five wingspan, only eighty three speed. But on next gen, he's probably the fastest card in the game because that's how next gen works. He's relatively expensive. Um, I think he'll be down at like thirty or forty k, and he's absolutely going to be worth that. Wes Unseld is uh, tough 
it's tough to really determine what he's going to be. I would say somewhere between 30 and 50K, all things considered tonight. Andre Karolinko is probably going to settle in around 300 or 400K. Lamar Odom's tougher to say. Uh, people need to do gameplay videos, so probably around 300K um, at the low point, like 150, 200. Danny Granger, I would say highest he's going to get up to is 150, 200, and then the lowest would be a buy it now. Uh, Michael Jordan, honestly, I'm going to have to let these play out before I can even tell you what he's going to go for. I truly have no idea. Like, I don't. Uh, same with Magic. Like, I have no idea what exactly he's going to go for. So, we'll see. Anyways, it has been your boy Cheap Loots. Thanks for watching my fifth pack opening in five days. I appreciate you guys. <laughs> you can watch all the rest of them if you want. I promise they're better. Uh, check me out later. Peace out, guys.